Hi, I'm going to quickly introduce you to what I think is a really useful task tracking app called Project Hedgehog. I'm going to be demonstrating it on the Mac, but pretty much everything here will also apply to Windows. The purpose of Project Hedgehog is to give you a really fast, stripped down, non-friction interface to work with your to-do lists. It exists to help you move the big list of tasks out of your head so you can focus on what you're working on, but then let you add the list instantly without disrupting your flow. Most of the time, you leave it running in the background. To start, I'm going to launch it. It starts by asking me where I want to keep my data, and I'm going to click Create New File and accept the default location. You'll only be prompted to select that file the first time you start it up. After that, it'll continue using the same file. So now we're looking at the main Project Hedgehog window. The first thing you'll notice is that there are no menus or buttons in this window. Everything potentially distracting has been removed, and you control it almost entirely through a few easy-to-remember keyboard commands. This means that you can get in and out without ever moving your hands off the keyboard. So there's a text field here, and it's asking me to create a new entry which represents some task I want to complete. Now, when I use Project Hedgehog to do real work, my entries are boring things like rename the distributed amount database column to distributable amount and drop test database. But to make things more interesting, let's say that our task is sushi making. We're going to use Project Hedgehog to track our progress making a sushi roll. My first step in making a sushi roll is to lay out the seaweed or nori that I'm going to wrap it in. So I'm going to type that into the field. I just forgot what the next step is for making sushi, so I'm going to go to my web browser to refer to the instructions online. So it looks like the next step is to prepare the rice. Because I left Project Hedgehog, it hid itself, but I can bring it right back up by hitting a hotkey. Before I do that, I'm going to pop up a little keyboard here so you can see what I'm doing. The default hotkey is command control space So I'm going to hit that, and we're back. As you can see, we're exactly where we were before we switched away. Before we go any further, the most important key combo to memorize is command slash, which opens the quick reference guide. Command slash. All the key combinations are documented here. So I'm ready to add a new entry after my current one. I'm going to hit the key combo to scroll down one entry, which is command J. You can see here that we are now editing a new entry that follows the one we created earlier. Alternatively, we could do command K to scroll up, past our earlier entry, to create a new entry before that entry. But that's not what we want. We want to enter the step that comes after laying out the nori. So I'm going to scroll back down. And let's enter that next step, which was to prepare the rice. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to enter the steps after that. and I'll scroll back to our first step. Now, once we have finished laying out the nori, we can mark the entry as done by hitting Command D. It automatically scrolls to the next entry, and it turned the bar gray next to the one we completed, indicating that it is now done. If we scroll back up to it, it also shows that a done date has been recorded. Now, preparing the rice is a task that logically breaks down into subtasks, and I can start entering those by hitting Command L which you can also think of as scrolling to the right to the children of the current entry. I'm going to enter a few steps here for preparing the rice. I can scroll up and down here, and all of these entries live under the prepare the rice entry which is shown at the top of the window. I can navigate back up to that parent entry by pressing Command H. Note the arrow at the bottom right corner of the window now, which indicates that this entry has child entries. Let's pretend that we've completed preparing the rice. I'll go back down to the children and mark each of them as done. When we mark the last one as done, we were bumped back up to the parent, and then we can mark that as done as well. I'm done working in Project Hedgehog for the moment, so I'm going to save my changes and hide it by hitting Enter. The difference between this and just switching to another program is that my changes have now been written to disk. I like to get in the habit of pressing Enter to dismiss Project Hedgehog, 
in case of a power outage or crash. If I actually wanted to quit the program rather than just hide it, I could use Command Q, although I tend to do that very rarely, and I won't do it now. So I've sent Project Hedgehog into the background, and it's going to automatically activate again after 30 minutes. The purpose of this is to help remind you to keep your to-do lists up to date, although you can disable the feature or adjust the period. The last thing I want to show you is reports. I can hit Command R, choose a time range like today, and generate a hierarchical report of all the entries I've marked as done today. And it shows me the times that I completed all of these entries. So there are a bunch of features I didn't get to, but I hope this has given you enough to get started with Project Hedgehog, and I hope you find it as useful as I do. Thanks.